Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great mini Class A motorhome value from Parkway RV Center. I did one of these a few months ago and sold very, very quickly. Had a lot of response on the video. So I was lucky enough to find another one and got it here today. And today we're going to review a 2010 Newmar Baystar. The model is a 2901. And guys, this is one of the smallest Class A's you can buy with two slides. It has two slides, 29 feet, 11 inches long. Of course, new Mar quality. The name speaks for itself. Even though, yes, I know it's a Bay Star. I know that's the entry-level model for Newmar, but Newmar does an entry-level model about the equivalent quality-wise of most other manufacturers' mid-level models. And of course, they cost as much new as other manufacturers' mid-level models as well. But Guys, this one's an easy size to drive and park for a Class A. Got an awning, um, electric levelers, built on the Ford chassis with the 362 horsepower V10, 6.8 liter. 29 feet, 11 inches total length. 5,000 pound tow capacity on the back. Got a, um, of course, new Mars Brytec roof system that they've been using for decades that's unparalleled and the pretty much one of the best roof systems you can buy um in my opinion anyway and you can see you got slide toppers on both slides got a 4kw on and generator that runs great it's a nice unit guys 19,800 miles under 20,000 miles Unusual for a small motorhome because most small motorhomes get used more than the bigger ones. One piece windshield. So great visibility there. Only thing bad about it, guys, um, it's had that diamond shield stuff put on the front. And after 10 years, 11 years, like most of it does, it gets that kind of, I don't know, kind of a, a dirty look to it, even though it's not dirty. I do got to have that one little spot right there touched up, but well, that doesn't affect how it rides, drives, or how you use it at all. Like I just got the electric leveling jacks, automatic. Got a six-gallon DSI water heater, 4KW on-end generator. Got a 15,000 BTU ducted roof air that's on now. Let's look inside. And one thing I'm going to point out, guys, it's in line to get new carpet. It's still got the original sculptured carpet, but you can see there's little grease spots, little stains here and there. So I'm gonna go ahead and spend about a thousand dollars. You don't have to spend and go ahead and re-carpet it. Well, linoleum's perfect. I'm just gonna replace the carpet. So that's something you don't have to worry about. Uh, I got the Atwood jack system, got the three camera backup camera system so you got the side cameras and the rear camera dash looks great no signs of claw marks or pick marks from animals no smoke or pet odors in here air conditioner feels good man this is a nice motorhome overhead tv uh jensen stereo system front captain shares a swivel for party seating of course you got a curtain that goes all the way around the windshield so when you're parked at night, you have some privacy. Of course, this has got Newmar's uh, famous um, intake outtake air system. And the way that works is you've got two, six, two sets of duct work. One on left side, one on the right side, or, or depending on which way you're facing. Left side, right side, right side, blows out left side is the intake this allows for even cooling throughout the entire rv where traditional rvs when you've got uh, say a unit right here in the middle of the coach that's your intake the further away you get from that intake the less air flows through, through your rv so if your air conditioner is toward the front and you've just got one air you're not going to feel it very much in the bedroom well this one because it's evenly sucks the hot air and blows cold air in, in its place you get more even cooling so uh just something to think about guys i know it, it's just a little things but that's just one of the many examples of quality that newmar goes to that other brands won't 
I mean, you got real ceramic uh, back tile from the factory. Countertops look good. They may not be Corian, but they're still nice countertops. Still got solid wood cabinets. Still got uh, nice appliances. Solid built. Now, guys, the previous owners, um, just recently, before we got it, added a electric refrigerator to it, probably because you cannot get a propane gas refrigerator right now or an RV refrigerator. You can see still got the tape on it. This thing's nice and cold. It, you know, I like an electric refrigerator the more I, I'm around them because they cool off so much easier. This thing's been on less than an hour, guys. Negative five, 35, and, and perfect. Already at operating temp in just a little over an hour or right about an hour. Now, if this had been an RV refrigerator, in an hour, you probably would have got the freezer down pretty cold, but it would have been six to eight hours before the refrigerator got to the temperature this electric one's at in less than an hour. And the good thing about it is, guys, you run a generator while you're driving most of the time anyway, or you can actually put you an inverter in here. Probably get you a 1500 watt pure sinus wave inverter if you didn't want to run your generator for some weird reason. Guys, a 4KW Onan generator only uses about half a gallon of gas an hour under a load. And you can, when you're running the generator, guys, when you're driving down the road, you can run your roof air, you can cool it off back here, have your refrigerator cold, um, run anything, any appliances you want to run. You know, if you want to make a pot of coffee or, or not you while you're driving, but if you've got passengers, set the coffee pot in the sink, plug it up and make you a pot of coffee or a carrig or whatever. Um, so, you know, it, you know that's what, by these generators, that's what they're designed to do. They're designed to uh, run when you're driving down the road to power the rest of your coach and uh, keep it nice and cool for when you get here or when you get to your uh, destination. And you can see, guys, and I love the woodwork in here. You know, Newmar doesn't cheap out. They put the wood walls in here instead of the cheap paneling. Um, I mean, it just makes it look really nice, even though it's an entry level. Like I said, it's the equivalent of most other brands, mid-level models. Leather furniture, leather sleeper sofa, table booth makes a bed, it's a six sleeper. This is a lot of space for a 29 foot motorhome, guys. Got a three burner stove top and oven, which doesn't look like it's hardly been used. Actually, that's a uh, that's unusual, guys. That's a two burner stove top. I don't know, uh, I've never, this freaking lids jammed up on me oh i love these things sometimes guys i tell you well i'll mess with that when i got both hands free and you got an oven doesn't hardly look like it's been used um we're gonna step toward the back and you have to remind yourself this is only a 29 foot 11 inch motorhome because you feel like you're in a lot bigger coach got an east west queen island bed got mini closets on each side in front of the bed got a tv um let's say it's my brand new carpet in here it's gonna be about the same color as what's in it um got a fully enclosed side bathroom with skylight looks great and you can see the the shower has not bleached yellow from the sun that means it hasn't been stored outside much when not being used toilet looks good medicine cabinet plenty of lighting no sagging headliners got that padded vinyl headliner and as many of you know if you ever look at one of these with that headliner it's ever had a leak it's going to sag like a car headliner this one has no sagging of course that's something you hardly ever very rarely i'm not saying they're leak proof because there's no such thing in any rv but that's something you very rarely see close that door keep anybody from coming in in a new mar is one that's leaked and you know Numar is just one of those brands that they have an extremely high brand loyalty in other words once you own a Numar that's pretty much what, what most people stick, tend to stick with for pretty much their future RVs after that and I don't blame them these are nice coaches guys definitely one of the higher end brands you can buy in a gas class A and this is a nice one if you're looking for a small high quality motor home low miles under 20,000 miles it's a 2010 2901 newmar base star 
Includes our world famous four page inspection process that's performed after purchase. Includes a 90 day easy care nationwide limited warranty. All for only $57.9. And that's a haggle free firm price, guys. I'm not taking a penny less. Used RVs are not the easiest thing in the world to find right now. And we're selling these things like hotcakes because of our prices. And the fact that we're probably about the only dealer around that's got any kind of used inventory. I got about 85 right here right now. Um, and this one I think is going to sell quickly. I, you know, I, it's probably going to be offline for a little bit while it gets carpet. Takes them, takes them about a day to do one of these. Um, and then vacuum it up and clean it up good and everything. But, wow. This thing with new carpet is going to be really, really nice. And um, if it's something you think you're interested in, I highly advise you to drop what you're doing right now. Pick up the phone and call us at 706-965-7929. And call before coming to look to make sure it's available. Yes, we have financing with approved credit and down payment for uh, qualified buyers with approved credit, of course, through nationwide banks and lenders. Um, if you've got a question about that, interested in that, give us a call. I believe it's got the seven. I haven't, I didn't look at the specs on the ceiling height, but I'm pretty sure it's close to seven foot. Um, so it's got a nice tall ceiling in it, which in a small motor home is pretty nice because you don't feel cooped up in it at all. And, um, you know, even when the room's in, you still got access to everything except maybe some of the uh, drawers at the foot of the bed when the bed slid in, but that's no big deal. You still got access to your bathroom, your kitchen, your sofa, your bed. You can take a take a nap in the bed with the slides in. Of course, it just takes 30, 40 seconds to bring them in or out. Um, but anyway, guys, this is a nice unit. Call before coming to look to make sure somebody else hadn't beat you to it. Um, I strongly suggest that this is what you're looking for, the floor plan, the price range. You're not going to beat the quality and you're not going to beat the condition of this one. I would highly recommend leaving a deposit on it, but that's entirely up to you guys. I'm not pressuring you one way or the other. Because here's the thing, guys, if you don't buy it, the next person will. I'm not trying to sound like I'm conceited or all that, but y'all just don't understand the current used RV market. It's, um, <laughs> wow, um, it's crazy. I mean, I'm literally getting, you know, that Born Free I posted yesterday, I, I got probably... I've already got people buy, I already paid cash for it, came in, drove several hours here to buy cash for it this morning. I, I've got people begging me to sell them that thing. I, I had one guy even offer me more money than I was asking for to sell it to them. But I don't do that, guys. That's not how we operate. Um, um, you know, that's just, it's crazy. Uh, you know, I'm pretty sure we'll have that Travato sold too. I've got several people, well, we've got several people uh, working on that. But, you know what, guys? I mean, these things are crazy. That ambassador I sold the other day, sold today, that, that I advertised the day before yesterday. I mean, literally, guys, these things are going out quicker than I can put them online. And, wow. Um, you know, this is something you're interested in. That's why I highly suggest calling and, and uh, getting all your questions answered, of course. I'm not saying you just got to call with a credit card number. Go ahead and get all your questions answered. Figure out which way you <coughs> want to buy it. <clears throat> it does include a 90 day warranty and the four page inspection process that's performed after purchase now guys just so everybody knows there's full disclosure like everybody else in business right now huge labor shortage um like everybody else in business oh well in the rv business can't get parts for them i mean if they could get parts for these things new production wouldn't wouldn't be pretty much halted right now because they can't get parts so all those things because we're working with half a crew we can't get parts when we need them stuff that i could used to get two years ago the next day is taking nine twelve weeks to get uh and some of them i can't get at all um in fact i've got one i'm spending several thousand dollars putting a new jack system on it because i cannot get a board for it that costs three hundred dollars so that three hundred dollars is going to cost me about seven thousand dollars to install a new jack system but you know how much extra the customer's paying for that coach? Exactly the same price I advertised for it before we knew the jack system was bad. That's what we do, guys. Of course, he's having to wait. And like I said, due to all the circumstances going on, if you buy this thing, you want the full checkout. 
expect a 30 to 45 day checkout process and it may be less i'd rather tell you more than less i don't want to tell you two weeks and then then tell you hey then tell you later it's going to be 30 to 45 days i'd rather tell you up front so if you do decide you want the full inspection and the warranty it's 30 to 45 days i can't do nothing about it guys there's 40 something units in front of you like i said we're selling so many of these things that we can't keep up with them However, if you don't want to wait that long, take advantage of what we call the option B price, which is an as is price. You know, you get a discount off that already great 57.9 price. Um, I've got the air on, it works, refrigerator's cold, uh, slide outs work, lights work. Uh, I'll, I'll fix that stove top cover after we get done with the video. <laughs> it just needs to be adjusted. Um, you can come drive it we drove it several hundred miles in here drove great and you can buy it as is and get a discount off that 57.9 price and i don't know how much the discount is on this particular one you'll have to call to get that and they'll go over everything that that entitles you to which is pretty much jumping in it and taking off with it but we will still allow you to either run the generator hook it into shore power turn everything on and you can see for yourself what works and anything that doesn't work if there's much of anything at all and i can tell you right now all the major stuff works you know the minor stuff you can take care of yourself we're going to save you enough money off that price to pay for any repairs you have to do and then some and then plus you get take home the same day you pay for it you don't have to wait 30 to 45 days for a checkout so whichever way you feel comfortable buying we got you covered um and if you want this rv or you got questions about it or about our buying process our number is 706-965-7929 keep in mind that the 57.9 price is as is uh not as is, it's non-negotiable firm haggle free and the option b price we give you is also haggle free firm non-negotiable so um you know what i recommend doing is coming out and looking at it in person um, spend some time in it get to know it a little bit if you come Monday through Friday you can test drive it with prior notice um, in other words make an appointment if you want to come drive it um, and we just don't do test drives on Saturday so so please don't come in here on Saturday expecting to drive it because it's not going to happen even if we even it cost us to sell guys I'm Saturday I'm running very I'm running less RV salespeople than I have because of the pan uh, because of everything going on not the pandemic but it's all related to it everybody sitting at home living off the government instead of working at least in our area of the country and um i mean heck our fast food restaurants in this area a lot of them are closing at two o'clock because they can't get help to help them during the dinner rush and the late night rush because they can't hire enough people to do it so and they're paying like 14 15 dollars an hour which is a lot for our area of the country for an entry-level job but i'm not getting into that guys um that's just the way things are now but anyway um not the way i was raised but apparently uh these younger folks that's that's what they like to do anyway not all of them not all of them there's there's i've, I've, I've met a few exceptions but here's the thing guys i mean you know we're doing the best we can what we have um so please please be patient with us work with us if you want the full checkout and inspection um this is a nice unit guys low miles half price of what it cost new back in 2010 of course the equivalent of this thing in a 2021 model is quite a bit more than what this one was in 2010 msrp prices on new rvs have gone up 15 to 20 percent in the last 12 months so alone now you go back 10 years worth of inflation is even worse than that so you know what was 115 120 grand back in 2010 it's closer to two hundred thousand dollars now for new and anyway guys 57.9 less than twenty thousand miles if it's something you think you're interested in Give us a call, 706-965-7929. Make sure to smash me a thumbs up. Make sure to comment, share on social media. Feel free to <coughs> subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell notification button. The more interaction you give me, the more YouTube shares my channel, the more uh, help support my channel. So um, we do have financing available with approved credit, and we do also offer nationwide delivery. Contact us for a quote. And um, 
it's a nice unit this is a unit worth traveling pretty much any distance to get if this is what you're looking for because this is not something you can find at your neighborhood rv dealership for this price in this kind of condition especially considering that we buy you a warranty and do the the most thorough inspection process of any rv dealership in the united states four pages long when most dealers pretty much check the propane system make sure the generator runs wash it and then send it on and you fix whatever's wrong with it but guys we go through this thing like we were buying it ourselves and while we can't fix everything you know we don't concentrate as much on the cosmetic stuff we concentrate on the stuff that can ruin your trip um but we are putting carpet in it but as far as a nick a ding a scratch a, a stain a odor you know part of that's part that's just part of buying an 11 year old motorhome but um and that's part of buying used guys you know you know i had a customer call complain the other day because there was no batteries in this tv remote well first of all it says in our checklist we don't cover tvs so uh i was like you know that's the craziest thing to call and complain about three or four dollars worth of batteries I mean, guys, trust me, I, I'm used to buying these things and spending a lot of money on them. To me, that's just, that, that's like getting mad at the sun because it gets dark at night. I mean, that's just stuff like that, it's just a gimme. But you know what? People like that don't need to buy used RVs. People that, that trivial and that entitled need to really just stick to buying brand new. Um, my honest opinion. Uh, let's see what we got here. It's like we got some kind of DVD or Blu-ray player. And over here, just some wires, and hey, you got some remote controls. <laughs> anyway, thank you all again for watching. And um, I really appreciate each and every one of y'all. Thank y'all for uh, subscribing to my channel. I, I really appreciate it. Sorry about that, guys. I had to do a battery swap. But like I said, guys, come out and look at this thing. You'll be surprised. I got a lot of inventory you can look at. You don't have to go through a sales office. You don't have to go to uh, sit with a salesperson before they even let you on the lot. Park where you want. Browse around. Look at what you want to look at. Anyway, guys, thank you for, thank you again for watching. And like I said, I'm approaching 30,000 subscribers. So if you're not already one, please hit the subscribe button. doesn't cost you a thing. And, you get, and if you hit the bell button, you get notified every time I post a video. Thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it. And let us know if we can help. And we have no fees. And look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.